Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Jojo Siwa in her dream outfit. So let's get started. To draw Jojo, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and draw basically the bottom of a U. It's going to a little bit narrower, so about right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect it with a curve right at the bottom. slightly sharper towards the bottom and connect there so basic brown curve at the bottom and then from there we're going to come back to where we started Crease up a little bit more in this area close to the edge I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle for the eyes So same thing over here, towards the edge once again, there, and then let's make them draw so cute eyes, so I'm coming here with two small circles for highlights, and a curve line at the bottom, and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. Same thing over here. So thank you for the request to draw Jojo Siwa again. And thank you for all the love you've given me for the other Jojo Siwa drawings I've done over the years. So hopefully you'll love this one just as much. And lines at the bottom. And so then let's come over here and give her some lashes. Curve out. And another softer one, a shorter one, I mean, at the bottom. So same thing here, just a simple curve, longer curve at the top, and then a shorter one at the bottom. And then let's come above her eye, and I'm just going to draw a soft curve above her eye for her brow. there and then for her um, smile I'm gonna come right here and draw a slight curve so all right here I'll start slight curve and I'm gonna cap it off and then add a deep curve that slants a little bit to the side so I always give Jojo Siwa this kind of smile because she's always so happy right <laughs> okay so then from there let's start to draw her um, Hair. So I'm going to bring this up, straighten out a little bit, and I'm going to imagine an oval. So this is going to be her hair, um, the hairline area. So about right here, I'm just going to give myself a point. So she has a pretty high forehead. So right at this point where her hair kind of parts, well it doesn't part, that's just where the point is. I'm going to come up, curve, and bring it back in. So right here. From there, let's go ahead and draw her ear. So come back to where her eyes are in this area. And I'm going to pop out a curve. And before I finish it off, I'm going to add a circle for her earrings. And then some details inside. And same thing over here. So come where her eyes are. But right here, this area, so come out with a curve and add a circle right here and some details for her inside. Okay, so we have the ears in now. Let's go ahead and come out a little bit right here and we're going to start to finish off her hair. This is really close, it's very tightly bound, right? for her ponytail, so I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it with a curve. So let's start to bring it in and connect it. So then in this area, let me bring this up a little bit more. Okay, 
So then in this area on the side, I'm going to draw her bow. So let's come about right here. I'm just gonna pop out a curve and let's draw the loop. So I'm gonna start with the first loop, come out. Nice big loop, bring it in, round it off, and then just tuck it back in. So then the next loop, I'm gonna come out right here, round it off once again, and just tuck it right in. So then for some details, let's draw a curve, and then the center line, and for this one, draw a curve, bring it in, and then another center line. And then let's draw the tail. So I'm gonna come right here and just tuck a tail right in the back. So a little curve. And bring it in. And this one I'm gonna tuck it right under here. And about right here, I'll bring it in and finish it off. There. So there we have her hair. So then we, she has this gorgeous ponytail right here. So I'm just going to bring it out right here on the side. So I'll finish that later. Let's go and draw her body first. So I'm going to come to the center right here and start to draw her neck. So about right here. And I'm going to bring down the curve. It comes out on both sides. So then from there, because I know there's a star right here, I'm gonna work on this side first. I'm just gonna bring out her shoulders and curve out. And then I'm gonna leave this open. And so I'm just gonna imagine this curve coming down. So say about right here and here on both sides. I'm just gonna add an angle line to start to draw her body area. So if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and finish this curve just like this side. So now that we have this and we know to work in this area, let's come right here and I'm gonna add a curve for her neck. And now to draw the star that's right here. So I'm gonna come in this area, just imagining a star right here in her shoulders. So I'm just not gonna be too big, just tucked right under. So I'm gonna come, bring this line a little bit more. And in this area, I'm going to come out with the two bottom points. And I'm going to go up the center point and out. So I'm just tucking in a star right there. Okay, so then now this can continue and come down. So about right here for her shoulders. And then you can bring this part down. So you have a better idea where her sleeves are. So bring this up a little bit more. And you're gonna go ahead right here and just connect it. So same thing over here. Bring down the sleeves and connect it. Okay, finally, that's <laughs> so complicated, right? Her outfit, spectacular outfit. Okay, so from this area, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a trail. So it's gonna aim towards the center. And it's gonna go all the way back up. And tuck right here. And then in this area, there's gonna be two stars I need to draw. So I'm gonna draw them right here. Just gonna tuck it in. one and another one right here that's slightly to side there okay so from there let's go ahead and finish the rest of her body right here so let's bring this down more so it's a jumpsuit bodysuit so i'm just going to go ahead and angle this and start to bring it in a little bit as i bring it down so it's just a slight curve. From there, in about in this area, I'll stop and add a slight angle line. So this is gonna be the beginning of her legs. And from there, I'm gonna add two angle lines that come out from there. And slowly build down. So um, let's bring this down more. 
And from there, because I'm using a Sharpie, I'm going to stop around this area in this area and draw a curve for the rainbow that pops out. But if you're using a pencil, definitely bring this um, curve all the way down. So about right there, I'm just going to draw an angle, I mean a curve, and then um, <laughs> draw some clouds. So simplifying it because there's so many details. A cloud and then add a curve right there. Pop up my cloud a little bit more so that I can go ahead and finish this. So let's continue bringing this down. And we're getting thinner as we go down. So let's work on this leg first. This one is straight. So I'm just going to continue bringing this down and it's about right there. I'll start to just stop, curve it out a little bit and connect it. And then in this area, draw a straight line for the cuff and her shoes. I'm going to come out with a curve and I'm going to pop it out a little bit, straighten and then curve out and connect it for tennis shoes and some details draw a curve right here another curve up here two curves on the side and laces there okay so now this leg is kind of slanted to the side it's um angled to the side more so let's bring this down And right here, once again, bring it in and connect. And add a little cuff, just like the other side, and cut it off. And so for this shoe, we're going to bring in a curve. And it's going to curve out and down. So we're still aiming to end in the same area and then bring this in and connect. So for some details on this shoe, bottom, and let's see here, then a curve right here. So we pop this out and some side detail. And I'm just going to go ahead and add laces. So it got a little too thick. <laughs> okay, there, something like that. <laughs> And then there's, I think, stripes right here, right? So I'm just going to add that here now that I have the Sharpie. Okay, so finally, let's draw her hands. So this side, it's just um, coming out a little bit. So I'm just going to bring this down. She's to her side. And... Down. So we're going to pass this area, so let's come down about right here, and I'm going to add a thumb and her fingers to come out and bring it in. And if you like, you can even add a tiny little finger right here, a little bit more detail if you like. Okay, so now the other hand is on her hip, so it's going to bend, so right here, bring it out. And it's going to come about in this area. So let's follow. Come about right there, I'll bend it, and bring it in. And come out with an angle. Same thing here, and at the right here, just tuck in a curve and bring it in. There. Okay, so then now her hair. So let's finish it off. I'm going to add a little curve about here. And let's bring this all the way down. Long hair. So I'm going to pass her hand so it's not in the way. So we just go ahead and tuck it right there. Draw some zigzags to finish it off. And tuck it in. 
Okay, so now for all the details, I'm going to switch to a um, thinner Sharpie only because it's so small and I don't want to muddle it up. So I'm going to come in here and on the side right here in this area, above the rainbow, I'm going to draw two stars. So it's all going to be at an angle. And let's see here. And then um, let's add colors on our rainbow. I'm just going to add three curves, three colors. And then there's some tassels here. So it's, um, I'm just going to add three because there's not much room for more. <laughs> or else it's going to get too crowded. Or maybe I, I can add more. Let's see. Okay, there. I'm just going to tuck in some tassels right there. And let's work on this leg. Right here, there's a heart. And some stripe of color. So I really hope this inspires you to draw it and uh, making it easy for you to follow along. There's so many details, right? Spectacular dream uh, video outfit and okay let's work on this side now so kind of where the rainbow is across i'm going to come about right here and draw a musical note so it's going to be an angle if i'm going too fast please pause the video and let's see here, I'm going to tuck in a star right here. So it's all up to you how detailed you want to make this. But I'm just drawing some of the main parts. So right here, there's going to be three bands of color. And then, of course, there's a unicorn, right? <laughs> so in this area where her hand is, I'm going to try to draw a unicorn. So um, let's start with the ear first, since it's really to the edge. So it makes it easier to make sure I have my head in here. So I got the ear, and then let's tuck in the head. Look at my drawing here. And let's connect. Okay, so there, I got it. Yay, it worked. And then let's drop a little eye right here, and of course, the horn. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so now there's all these stripes on her top. So let's start. I'm gonna start and say, well, let's add these first. There's three of them here and I'm going to finish this off because there's actually two parts. So let's come right here. I'm going to start to draw the stripes. Just an indication of it. So hmm, let's see. So that's the first two, about right there. And there's going to be a three one about here. And then two more down here. So it's going to overlap my star. So there, that is pretty much it for my version of Jojo Siwa in her dream outfit. I hope you love how this turned out and inspires you to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.